guys, it's me, Crystal, from Marching North. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this crochet cowl that only takes one skein of yarn and just a couple hours to make. You can make one of these for pretty much anyone on your list. It really works for men or women. You can customize it by changing up the color, and it's perfect because it's so quick that you could easily make one of these for everyone on your list. The yarn we'll be using is Hometown by Lion Brand, and it's a nice thick yarn. You could also use wool ease thick and quick if you wanted to. I'm allergic to wool somewhat, so I didn't. I just went with the acrylic. But anything that's like the super bulky yarn is what you're gonna want. This is a super bulky size six yarn, so any other yarn that size will also work. And you'll also need a size nine millimeter or size N crochet hook. All right, let's get started. So like I said, the yarn that we're using is Hometown Yarn and I'm using Aspen Tweed. And you're also gonna need a nine millimeter crochet hook, a pair of sharp scissors, a tape measure, and a large eye needle. To start, we're gonna make a slip knot. So I just like to wrap the yarn around my hands like this. And then you take the long end and you pull the loop up through the center. Then you can let go of that loop that was around your fingers and pull the other loop to tighten it up. Then you're gonna stick your crochet hook into the loop and pull the long string to tighten it, and there you go. Now you're gonna loosely chain 30 times. Now that we've finished our chain, we're gonna half double crochet in the third loop from our hook. But instead of doing it on the front of it, we're gonna go on the back of the chain where this back bump is, and we're gonna work into the, the back bump instead of into the front of the chain. So go to the third one, and you're going to yarn over like this, and then you're gonna insert your hook into that third bump on the back of the chain. Then you're gonna yarn over again, Pull it through the loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Then you yarn over again and pull it through all three loops. And that's one half double crochet. So then you're just gonna continue doing that on the back bump of each chain going all the way down. Once you get to the end of your row, you're going to chain two, then turn your work, and now we're going to half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch. So you see on your stitch you'll have, since it's half double crochet, you're going to have this front third loop, then this is your regular front loop, and this is your back loop. We're just going to work into the back loop only for each stitch. So yarn over. Insert your hook right into the middle of the stitch and under that back loop. Yarn over and pull it through. Yarn over and pull through all three. And that's all we're gonna do for this whole cowl is just half double crochet in each stitch in the back loop only all the way across. Then when you get to the end of the row, you'll chain two, turn and repeat.
The width of your scarf should be about 14 inches at this point. Continue making rows of half double crochet until you have 31 rows or your cowl measures about 26 inches wide. Now you're going to fold your cowl in half. Just leave your crochet hook attached where it is and fold it up in half. And you're going to meet up the two sides and we're going to slip stitch it together. So first insert your hook into the first stitch of the front side and then insert it into the first stitch of the back side. Yarn over and pull it through all the loops. Then you're going to repeat that with the next stitches. So the next stitch on the side, go under that and then go under the next stitch on the other side. Yarn over pull it through, and then pull it through the loop on your hook as well. Just repeat that going all the way down the side of your cowl. When I got to the end, my piece was super short, but I had also cut some of my yarn off, so yours shouldn't be this bad. I didn't film this very well and I apologize, but all I'm doing here is just tying a knot to secure the end of the yarn where I did the last slip stitch to attach the two sides together. And this will be a lot easier if you have a little bit more yarn than I do, but like I said, I cut some of my yarn, so yours should not be this tight. Once you get the knot tied, you're just going to use either a large eye needle or a small crochet hook to hide the ends into some of the stitches. And then cut the excess yarn. Repeat that process for your starting yarn end as well. Here's how your cowl will look when it's all finished and sewn together. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching!